Take a look at our other channels too. NSAIDs are increasing in popularity and use every year. While you may not be familiar with that term, it stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and includes over-the-counter medications that some people take on a daily basis. When we have aches and pains, it's easy to reach for a bottle, pop a pill, and experience nearly instantaneous relief. Many who self-medicate unsuspectingly believe that since drugs like ibuprofen and aspirin don't need a doctor's prescription, they are fine to take every day over a long period of time. That's not entirely true. NSAIDs can have a negative effect on both your stomach and liver, and once these side effects begin, the damage can be irreparable. The human body only has one stomach and one liver. Both are vital and need to be treated with care. What's the alternative then? If we've got aches and pains that won't go away, but industrialized medications may actually do more harm to our internal organs, what should a person do? Consider what our ancestors did. They got their anti-inflammatory medicines from the land and the sea. They found cures in nature with plants and herbs that helped the human heal naturally. They also likely exercised more and had less stress than we have today. So, let's look at a great way to avoid NSAIDs, but still get the relief that our aging joints and bones need. For this recipe, you'll need some olive oil, salt, and a glass container for storage. Olive oil and sea salt work together in different ways to complement one another and bring about the desired effect of reducing inflammation. Olive oil, in the correct doses, actually prevents inflammation, while the magnesium in sea salt reinforces muscle tissue to ward off painful inflammation. Both ingredients have other positive effects that make them well-rounded elements in natural remedies. Here's how to make one of nature's anti-inflammatory recipes. Ingredients 200 milliliters of water, one cup. 300 milliliters of olive oil, 20 tablespoons. 150 milliliters of sea salt, 10 tablespoons. Instructions. Begin by adding the 300 milliliters of olive oil and 150 milliliters of sea salt to the water. Stir the ingredients until the salt is mixed in well, and then massage the oil into the inflamed area for a few minutes. Initially, a few minutes will be sufficient, but you may wish to slowly increase the amount of time you are applying the mixture. Ideally, you'd like to reach at least 15 minutes daily for a week and a half. If you find that you have a slight reaction to the mixture, don't worry. You can always prepare the area before you begin the massage with a warm, damp towel. Then use some baby powder to cool the skin. Try it out and let us know how well you respond to nature's anti-inflammatory. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.